everybody. We are What's Cooking in the Kitchen today at Welcome Home with Laura Napoleon from Wheatberry Cafe. Welcome, Laura. Good morning. First of all, tell us about Wheatberry. What is that? I love the name. Thank you very much. Wheatberry is an organic juice bar. It's okay. in Altamont Springs, uh -huh. right on 434, close to I-4. Uh -huh. Healthy food. been there food. three years. Good. Organic juice bar, yes. Okay, so we're going to be cooking something today that is not only organic, but it is healthy, it is good for us, and you're going to get us in good shape and here. And it's yummy. Right? And it's it yummy. It is yummy. Okay, yes. so what do we do? And what are we making, first we of all? We are making nutty, spicy, peanut, sweet potato soup. Nutty, spicy, sweet potato soup. Sounds good. Is okay. it going to be hot or cold? It is going to be hot. Okay, all it right. Let's be do this. Nice and hot. Has a little kick to it, not too much. Kick I can do. All right. And so you're at, first starting with. I am starting with a couple tablespoons of organic olive oil. Okay. And look how fancy schmancy. It looks you like are. a lot right now, but it comes out really thin as yeah. you can tell. Right. We're going to saute. Okay. And you can put one onion. One onion. And I, I asked Laura. I have to tell you this, viewers. Mm. I asked her ahead of time. Um, what kind of a machine she used to dice everything up and tell them what you told me. Uh, this is my machine. <laughs> <laughs> she is totally natural. She doesn't fashion. use any gas. I am too. I don't even have a chopper upper or whatever they do, blenders and all that. I don't even do that. I'm with you. By the time you clean it and yeah. get it out, um, you might as well just get your knife and your cutting board out. Oh, okay. No, oh, I'm talking general, about, yes, I thought, oh general. no, I'm going to have to cut. All right, so what do we add next? So we did one onion. We're going to do two carrots. Two carrots. And you really do chop these up like I do. This? I'm so impressed. I try to do them all the same size so I know they're all cooked. At yeah. this, so, yes. Good. And one red pepper. Oh, love red pepper. And okay. these are filled, and I know this from doing cooking segments with some other people as well. So good for you. Vitamin C. Good vitamin C. Beta carotene. Beta carotene. Yes. yes. Huge. Okay. And vitamin A, C. All right. Good stuff for you. Saute these guys. How long does it take to usually saute? I this would kind of say stuff? like six ten minutes, minutes, six, six to, to eight. Okay. Nice and soft. All you right. Want them right. Nice What's and soft. What's next? Next, we're going to add our spices, and we have mm -hmm. about two mm -hmm. two garlic cloves, All organic. Right. Two garlic cloves, and this is it's cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Just a little, little hint, and you can, of course, if you like it hotter, add a little bit more. Okay. We have fresh organic mm -hmm. ginger, mm -hmm. which oh. we grated. Okay. And some just, just black pepper, pepper. Right, organic. So Everything's dump all organic. This in here? Yes. Okay. Dump it in. Good. I can smell. Mm -mm -mm. I always say this, Laura. I wish we had smell vision so everybody could smell the delicious fragrance. My boys love coming home to that. I know. That's a good thing. I know. After this is all sauteed, mm. we so can good. add about six cups of veggie broth. Now, okay. ours is organic, and we make our own broth. Is this six cups? Yes, ma'am. Am I ready? You are ready. All right. You tell us you make your own broth. We organic do. Organic vegetable broth. Because we bottle and and cold press juice at Wheatberry. Okay. And we use the pulp. Mm -hmm. We oh, grind good. the veggies, take uh -huh. the pulp, and then with that organic pulp, we make our own broth right. for okay. our soup. A healthy, healthy, a healthy, healthy soup. Now this is not raw. We do a lot of, I mean, Wheatberry is, has a raw, it's a raw cafe. It's yes. also vegan. Okay. So this particular, because it's heated over mm -hmm. 118 degrees, this is vegan, but okay. it's not raw. But it's not raw. Once it's boiling, uh -huh. Then we're going, to, we're going to add a couple sweet potatoes, okay. maybe two. Two sweet potatoes, and we know these are good for us, right? We know those, absolutely. Okay. And after it's boiling for a couple minutes, it's nice and soft, and you can test it with your knife. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. Should I bring this over to sure. you? Sure. Right. Looks you did this like ahead of time for us. So I it's, did. It looks like it's a little bit still crunchy, mm -hmm. but not totally mush. Correct. Right? Okay. If mush is a word. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and... Tomato. Okay. So these are the tomato. like They're one, diced tomato. One or it's, two? No, it's probably three. Could I use canned tomatoes and tell me why I should not? You could, <laughs> as long as I would say if it's organic. Okay. And um, okay. no sodium. Ours is just organic fresh tomatoes and we just chop them. Okay. And all the liquid and seeds would go. And in I'm sure as you well. have a wonderful farmer's market where you buy all this good stuff, right? I brought you a towel. Oh, no. Thank we, you. Uh, we get produce in three days a week, okay. organic that's delivered to the oh, kitchen. Wow. That's where we bottle our juices. Do you juices. serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner? We do. Okay. Well, dinner, we close at five. So okay. people come and pre and post workout to get an uh -huh. elixir. We do smoothies. Nice. Nice. Once this is all soft, like mm -hmm. like this, then yes. you simply throw it into your blender. Okay. Any type of high power mm -hmm. blender Vitamix would work. Okay. And it comes out nice and smooth. It looks like this. Uh huh. Now wait, we didn't do this. What is this? Once it's pureed, is uh -huh. when you add a little bit of honey to taste. Ah. Okay. And the best, most exciting ingredient is the peanut butter. Peanut butter. But you don't put the peanut butter in the 
blender. In the blender, so after you it's pureed, this, all right. you add these two are like kind of like you add as now. To your why own do taste. we need organic? What did you call it? Natural peanut butter? Because we don't want sugar. We no don't sugar. Want we don't. Any no. <laughs> <laughs> Wheat Berry has no flour, no eggs, no sugar. Everything is made from scratch. Gluten free. Everything. Is Everything gluten -free. is gluten free. There's wow. nothing. Um, now I know why Carly loves you. Mm -hmm. Carly's our cute little social correspondent. She's the one who found you, and she is gluten intolerant. So, yes. so obviously this would be a good, good, good recipe for any of you who are maybe not able to eat gluten. Absolutely. Okay. There's, and if someone has celiacs, or I mean, some type of exactly. any type of. Um, so the uh, that's the our garnish. Are garnish. Okay. So we have honey. Mm -hmm. And peanut you have butter. peanut butter that you put on top, and or not on top, but you put it in the blender. Yes. Am I ready to taste? You are. All right, let's see what this tastes like. Yay. Spicy. Tell me the name of it nutty, again. Nutty, spicy. Nutty, spicy. Sweet potato soup. Sweet potato soup. Mmm. Isn't it gorgeous? Mmm, that is color. delicious. Look at the color, I love it. My mother would love this, too. There's some real serious kick in this, too. Is it too serious? No. <laughs> not too serious for me. Mm. Good. And that mm -hmm. to do, you know, do is taste because some people like it a little sweeter. You can add a little of the... You know what you can also do? Because I like a cold soup. Believe it or not, I like gazpacho, which is a cold soup, I right? I love gazpacho. You could do this cold yeah, or you absolutely. could do it hot. Mm -hmm. And we, that we make delicious. a fresh homemade soup every day at the cafe. All right, let's talk about calories. How I know it's healthy. It is. What, what would be the caloric intake for um, something like this? This would actually probably be under... 200 calories. Wow. I mean, it's amazing, but all look what you put in here. You I know. Got your onion, your sweet potato, your tomato, your carrot. There's nothing in garlic, there that's ginger. bad for you. This is, and even the olive oil, it's organic, yes. cold pressed olive oil. So good. That's the good fat, omega 3s. Mm -hmm. And I can taste a little bit of the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I can taste, the, I definitely can taste the spices. I can taste the sweet potato. Um, you probably taste a little bit and you don't realize it, the ginger. That I, don't even, gives it that I, yummy I hardly little. even know what ginger tastes like, but mm -hmm. that is so, so yummy. Laura Napoleon from Wheatberry Cafe in Altamont Springs, and I hear that you're opening some other restaurants, we too. We are. We're right? looking at right now in Winter Park and Lake Mary. Oh, good luck. Mm -hmm. I hope it does well, because this is years. absolutely wonderful. We will have that recipe, hopefully, up on our mm -hmm. website and up on our Facebook page. And if you would like more information about Wheatberry Cafe, you can go to the website that is up on the screen for you right now. We thank Laura Laura Napoleon, so much for being here with Thank us today. You. How much Thank fun you. was this? Oh my gosh, was God it bless. ever? Thank you. <laughs>